square root of x plus x minus 2 under square root is equal to 4. We have to find the value of x. So, we can solve it using two methods. Let's try the method 1. So, let's subtract both the sides square root of x or we could simply send square root of x to the right hand side. It's positive square root of x. So, it will be negative square root of x. This is called balancing the equation. We subtract both the side by the same number. So, square root of x plus x minus 2 under square root minus square root of x is equal to 4 minus square root of x. Now, this positive and my negative square root of x gets cancelled. Now, we have x minus 2 under square root is equal to 4 minus square root of x. Let's square both the sides. To remove the square root, we square both the sides. So, squaring both the sides. It will be x minus 2 under square root whole square is equal to 4 minus square root of x whole square. Now, remove the square root with this square. So, it is x minus 2 is equal to. Now, this is in the form of a minus b whole square. We can expand it as a square minus 2ab plus b square. So, we can write it as. 4 square minus 2 times 4 times square root of x plus square root of x square or x minus 2 is equal to 4 square is 16, 4 times 2 is 8. So, 8 times square root of x plus we will remove the square root with the square. So, it is x. Now, this x and then this x will get cancelled because if you send this x to the left hand side, it will be negative x. So, positive x and negative x will get cancelled. Or minus 2, we send 16 to the left hand side, it will be minus 16. In this side, we will have minus 8 times square root of x. So, it is negative 18 is equal to minus 8 times square root of x. This minus and minus will get cancelled because... When you multiply both the side by minus, then minus minus will become plus. So, it is 18 is equal to 8 times square root of x. Divide both the sides by 8. So, this and 8 and 8 will get cancelled. Now, we have square root of x is equal to 18 upon 8. Now, to remove the square root, again we square both the sides. Remove the square root with the square. Now, x is equal to 18 square. So, 18 times 18 upon 8 square is 8 times 8. Now, divide both numerator and denominator by 2. 2 times 9 is 18. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 9 is 18 and 2 times 4 is 8. So, 81 upon 16. This is the value of x. Let's verify this answer. We have x is equal to 81 upon 16. So, put the value of x here, 81 upon 16 under square root plus 81 upon 16 minus 2 under square root. Check whether it is equal to 4. Now, 81 we can write it as 9 square, 16 as 4 square under square root plus we can take 16 as the common denominator and it will be 81 minus 32 if we put 1 here. Now, when a upon b is under square root, we can also write it as square root of a upon square root of b. Therefore, it will be square root of 9 square upon square root of 4 square plus 81 minus 32 is 49 upon 16 under square root. Now, we can remove the square root with the square. So, it is 9 upon 4 plus 49. We can write it as 7 square and 16 as 4 square under square root. Again, remove the square root with the square. Therefore, it is 9 upon 4 plus 7 upon 4. Now, they have a common denominator. So, we can add simply 9 plus 7 is 16 upon 4 
4 times 4 is 16. Therefore, LHS is equal to RHS. Hence, X is equal to 81 upon 16. This is our answer. There is another method which follows the same rule of squaring both the side. Only difference is we square here only and start from here. If we square it, consider square root of x as a and x minus 2 under square root as b, then it is a plus b whole square. So, it will be square root of x square plus 2 times square root of x times x minus 2 under square root then plus x minus 2 under square root whole square is equal to 16. Now remove the square root with this square. So x plus 2 times this we can write it as x square minus 2x under square root because square root of a times square root of b we can write it as a times b under square root. So, this we can write x times x minus 2 under square root or it is x square minus 2x under square root plus x minus 2 is equal to 16. So, it is x plus x is 2x plus 2 times x square minus 2x. We send minus 2 to the right hand side it will be 16 plus 2. Now take 2 here common. So x plus x square minus 2x under square root is equal to 18. Divide both the sides by 2. 2 and 2 here gets cancelled. 2 times 9 is 18. Now we have x square minus 2x under square root. Send this x to the right hand side. It will be 9 minus x. Now square both the sides. So it is x square minus 2x. We remove the square root with the square. And this side we will have 81. That is 9 square plus x square minus 2 times 9x. This x square and x square gets cancelled. Minus 2x. 9 times 2 is 18x. So this will be plus 18x this side. And this side. Here we will have 81. So this is 16x is equal to 81. Divide both the sides by 16. Therefore, x is equal to 81 upon 16. So these are the two methods that you can use. Which method did you like more? Which, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.